Okay, like I showed you in the previous uh, lesson, how to get the environment, the user environment. So we're going to start off by doing a PHP tag here, and all we're going to say, all we're going to create is a variable called a viewer and get env. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to access the user environment. So it's called uh, HTTP user agent. Now I want to break that string up so I can identify exactly the browser and separately we want to identify the plan. So what I'm going to do it is I'm going to create a variable called browser. I'm going to give it a default value of an unidentified browser. I'm going to use an if condition and I'm going to use a function called preg match. So it's going to look for a, a match within the string and what we're looking for is a match of msie within that string uh, inside that variable okay called viewers viewer so if we find it has msie dot i well i then that basically means it's microsoft internet explorer so that's the id for it. so if we find that we want to echo it out or we want to assign the value in inside the browser so if that's true then the new value of browser will equal internet explorer but if it's not true then we're going to use else if something else. Well if it's not Internet Explorer we can always try is it Netscape. Now if it is Netscape then we want it to assign the new value in the browser to Netscape. Now because we're going to keep repeating this every time we do a test we're going to do another test just for another browser and then we're going to stop. Uh, but just to show you a little trick that you can use to keep you know continuing on with that so it's going to do an else if again and if you hold the shift and control key at the same time and then press down it would actually repeat the line now obviously we've got two curly braces here so we just need to get rid of one um, otherwise we're going to have an error and here we're going to replace Netscape with Opera again I'll do Opera down here right so basically we're testing for Internet Explorer Netscape and Opera and if it isn't any of those three we'll just say an unidentified browser so now we've done that um, let's test for the type of platform that we might have. Now the type of platform, it could be um, Windows or it could be Linux. So we can only have two different um, types of, um, of platforms, operating systems. So I'm going to create a variable called platform. And again, just like before, an unidentified platform operating system maybe. Now what I'm going to do is just going to make it really easy for myself. I'm just going to copy one of those and I'm going to paste it here instead of typing it out, the lazy way of doing things. And I'm going to just replace that with Windows and I'm going to change that one here instead of saying Opera it's going to say Windows and that should be if. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that curly brace first of all and I'm going to copy that again. So I'm going to control and shift and press down and it gives me another one right uh, but I'm gonna put the word else in front of it so it's else if and this time it's not gonna be Windows we're gonna test for Linux it's one thing I need to correct and that should be a capital W and that should be a capital Linux like so and if it is then it must be Linux right so basically here we're just testing if it says Windows then it, the browser would be Windows and if it said Linux then the browser will equal Linux which is wrong what it should be do doing is I should have replaced that part instead of it saying browser it should say platform so that should say platform just a little mistake when you're copying and pasting platform so you always run through your code just to make sure that you know the logic is correct uh, you know the program will still run but it will assign to the wrong variable so you just need to run through it in your head to see if it's yep this is logically yep this is how it's supposed to work and then that's fine and you can just save it so what I want to do now is I want to save and it should automatically reflect in the browser okay obviously it's not going to reflect in the browser because all we're doing is tests and we're not echoing anything out so silly me I should be echoing something so what I'm going to do is I'm going to echo first of all at the platform and then the browser or the, well let's do it all in one line to make it even simpler so I'm going to say echo and then I'm going to say your URL correctly you're using a browser on and then we can print out the platform there we go so you can see that um, NetBeans is always trying to give me hints 
you can see the hints coming in sometimes it can be annoying right so we've done that I'm gonna now save it and it should do an echo statement for us in the browser automatically once it's saved right I've noticed a mistake uh, here it's, it would put two dollars so it should be one dollar sometimes you can do a typo error and now it's telling us you're an unidentified browser on Windows so we got the operating system Windows which is correct I am on a Windows operating system but the, the browser hasn't been picked up now I am using Firefox so I'm not using Netscape I'm not using Opera and I'm not using Internet Explorer so it might be an idea to to basically include the browser that you're using as well obviously so what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, well, actually, I don't really know what my browser is. For example, let's assume that I don't know. Um, and the way I'm going to get it is I'm going to start the whole thing by basically doing an echo. And what I want to do is I want to do a line break. So basically start a new line. And I want to basically print out viewer. And I'm going to do another line break at the end as well. So I can... So basically, it should be two lines for me now. Uh, the first line should give me all the details, and then I can confirm it with the next one. So we know now it's called Mozilla. It's not called Firefox, and I stands for the version of it. And we are on Windows, as it says there, and it's giving us a little bit more info. So all I could do now is, I now knowing that we are in Mozilla, I can test for Mozilla here. Copy that. Actually, I can do it do it a neater way go down that way and just type the word Mozilla so now basically I've done a match and it tells me here now you're using Mozilla on Windows simply by adding an extra test case so that was easy and um, now we've got three or well, four different browsers and we've got two operating systems and it's testing for both of them and it tells me straight away here this like that now I can comment this out because I don't need it anymore and if I save it, it should identify correctly. The browser and the operating system refreshes automatically. You're using Mozilla on Windows.